Okay, George? In the range of our normal experience, the speed of a body is related to its kinetic energy like this. This Newtonian relationship applies even when we use speeds such as those of rocket travel or the speed of our Earth in its orbit about the Sun. We are going to use speeds that are very much higher than these and see if this relationship is still valid. As you can see, for the speeds that we're accustomed to, the velocity squared is proportional to the ratio of the kinetic energy to mass. Therefore, to get a very high speed for a given amount of energy, we should work with particles of small mass. We'll use electrons. Here, we have plotted this Newtonian relationship for electrons. This straight line represents velocity squared compared to kinetic energy. Because of the energies we have available in this laboratory, we have plotted kinetic energy along the horizontal axis in units of millions of electron volts. One electron volt is the energy gained by an electron going through a potential difference of one volt, or 1.6 times 10 to the minus 19 joules. The vertical axis represents the speed squared in units of 10 to the 16th meter squared per second squared. The square of the speed of light, for example, is here. 9 times 10 to the 16th meter squared per second squared. The square of twice the speed of light is here. According to the Newtonian prediction, when we use millions of electron volts, we may expect speeds way up here. These speeds are huge compared, say, to the speed of our Earth in its motion about the Sun, which we would have to plot way down here, completely invisible on this scale. To do these very high speed experiments, we are working at the Linear Accelerator Laboratory at MIT, and this is the particular apparatus we're going to use. Here is the source of our electrons. They are